Uh, as we have seen, uh, the use of the usage of uh, points of our body is this an influence of jujutsu or vice versa? You mean tips? Yes, sir. We can't say this for sure. There is no way that one that any master can say um, um, surely that kopo jutsu influenced uh, on this matter jujutsu or otherwise. Now what we can say is that since they have coexisted, uh, they, they happened, they existed, and were active at the same time, there is no doubt that um, at some point um, in time, they influenced each other, just like Koko Jutsu and Aikido Jutsu. There are many similarities that are undeniable. Now, they, have, they, 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 they have surely influenced each other. But we can see that um, the, la the line of thought and action for one differs vastly you know, to the other, for example. If we're talking about Jujutsu, suppose we are in a Renkaku situation. Suppose we are here, okay? And then let's, let's say that he's a very hard foe, a very hard enemy. He's well uh, skilled, he is well practiced and uh, he can um, avoid most of my attacks and my movements and he tries intelligently you know, in his own game. So, um, once again, um, what we do learn in our lineage is that, uh, I was going to say, I always used to say and talk to people who were not to all of them his generation that whenever the enemy is too hard, is too difficult, he said, uh, use Renkaku methods, in Jujutsu we're talking, okay? So there were, of course, Renkaku is a method as well, and uh, therefore um, there are endless uh, individual techniques and options that fit in this universe of Renkaku. But there, there is what he called uh, the, the basic principles, the basic movements. And uh, in those we can find, for example, um, low kicks. No. At that time, by the way, kicks weren't called giri. As we see in later stages, they were called actually uh, ashinchi. So, the pulse is a very hard enemy. And I actually, I can't enter, I'm moving with him, but he deflects my attacks, I'll enter, he, he, he blocks. Enter again, he blocks, blocks downward, very nice, he hides his head pretty well. But then there are the, the, uh, the low kicks that we have just mentioned and the usage of tips, as you're asking. So, say that I cannot use my, my here, you're supposed to have blocked with your... And in Jujutsu, for example, So, let's say I'm here, one more time, I'll enter, I'll try to walk, but suppose you're still standing. So when I enter here, and you're still standing, and I'll come back for trying to find a bridge to get into. Then one more time, using your tip, violently, mm -hmm. you no? Know? And violently. Could you take your glasses, please? And then violently. So I could use the floor as a weapon. In Renkaku, 
So you see, you, you, base, you base yourself on the idea of having your hara lowered and using it as a way of propelling, a way of, um, how can you say that? To move violently but having support, having root in just one extremity. We have somewhat of a loose extremity on the other leg, resulting in a very powerful kick with your leg. And this very powerful uh, kick must find a fragile ang angle on his leg. So suppose we're here, you have a strong base, okay? The idea is not leaving this loose like this. It's to rooting, pinning this down, and using your hara so you can enter using uh, your, your, your weight in the impact, which I will show for his well-being, but the idea is, you see? So I can breach in. Now, suppose we're talking about household uh, basic studies in Koko Jutsu. So for example, say you enter and you'll do, I'll put my arms down in a Shizen, in a Shizen Kamai. Okay? And then we have this Mai. So suppose he will try to enter to the face, in the upper you know, part of my body, say in Atsuki. So he will pre prepare himself, he'll gather his power inward, he'll breathe, and suppose he will explode in the face. So according to Goku Jutsu, I'll have to allow him to reach his uh, maximum extension. And uh, let's see how it goes. Now the idea here is that he has pinned down, he has weighted, weighted on, on, his, um, on, his, on his right leg. So right now, the tip, in this case, is used to try to break your, your leg forward and downward, if we were to, to complete the movement. So even though I'm using a tip, the idea is, as you are entering, very nice, but using your weight downward, and I mean fully downward, in a rough movement, so completing what we were talking, that is, whenever I'm using an attacking kopo, I will put my weight forward and down, with the hara rooting it violently. So, the idea is to break it all. It's not to breach in, it's to break it all. Now, say, in, in Jujutsu, we might use, for instance, he will do Slowly, amawashi tsuki. So, I usually defend like this, which is quite proper because we are in a, we are rooted down, and we are um, in a very jujutsu-like situation. So I can absorb that physical, the physical power of his attack quite easily. Now, when it comes to bujutsu in jujutsu, that is the the real study in jujutsu. Slowly, every every practitioner knows that if I turn my elbow a bit off, a bit outward, and he enters violently, it may break his arm quite easily because uh, there are precedents. So, in Kopo, we use this um, specifically. We try to use this, but not relying on the power of his arm entering will enter ourselves. So as he comes, entering bones, tendons, because this over, whenever he's too strong and uses his arms very well, so um, attacking tendons, so he won't be able to apply his power in here. So there are many ways of doing it. Uh, using elbows like in here, First, isolating, then breaking. First, isolating, then breaking.
written. Many ways of attacking tendons near biceps region, you know, the forearm, shoulder. Uh, the feeling of the UK is quite different from the from Aikijus, for example. Uh, it's quite di it's quite different the following of the movement. Uh, uh, I, for this, I would like to know if this would be inside the method of Kopujus. Well, for that, the matters um, the matter is that. What we understand as a method is that it, it may be applied to any situation. So we cannot rely on speed. When someone first uh, starts studying, he will have he will usually start very slowly, so he can understand, comprehend, and um, having his brain working in such a way that he can uh, associ associate movement, thought, and feeling, you know, into a, a proper coordination. So for us, all the methods that we have studied, that, that many of you and uh, many around the world, in every uh, school around the world has studied, uh, it may be applied uh, supposedly to um, any situation and to any speed. But we do start slowly in the first stages so we can gradually move on. But the idea is always taking, you know, when you see some some complex technique. Um, the idea is fragment, so we can study it part by part and then join join it all together, join them all together to a more complex technique. For example, so you look at a wish. Any technique, we can always take it, fragment it, and study it isolatedly, you know, part by part. Great.